Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little Josh Yarns. If this is your very first time here, what we like to do is talk about all things crochet and drink a little bit of wine. So how is everybody here this afternoon, morning, night, wherever you are in the world? So what's going on with everybody? Oh, that was a mouthful. I say the same thing every single week. I was scrolling through my videos and my the way I like say things is exactly the same in the beginning of every one of my spiels. John Yarns. Mm. So I'm going to hop in the comments and see what's going on. Um, by the way, if you're just getting here, we're going to be talking about all things uh, pot holders, oven mitts, things to crochet and you can take out the oven, those type of things. Let's see who's here. Ola Joe, hello. Hello, Alicia. How are you? And happy Sunday. I'm doing pretty good, fine and dandy. Jody, hello. You're my top five crochet channels to watch daily. Love your channel. Oh, thank you. No, thank you so much. That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. Cheers to you, girl. I appreciate that so much. We got one of my faves. Hello, Miss Gloria. How are you doing? And another fave. Hello, uh, Lori Murphy. Let's see what else is in here. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Well, today is a beautiful fall day. The leaves are starting to turn. The temperature today is still like, it was chilly as soon as uh, fall hit. It like went from 80 to 60 something degrees. But today is more of a summer day. It's probably think it'll be like 80 degrees here. That's what I think here in Western Pennsylvania. Hello, another fave, Caitlin. Hmm. All right, so usually I'm going to scroll through and get to most of your comments. If you guys have any comments for me, always make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know the answer. You can always ask me anything you would like. Okay, so all these patterns that I'm going to be mentioning in this live stream are going to be linked down in the description box below for absolutely free. And another quick, uh, what should I say? I don't know, not note. Whatever, never, another quick thought. Anybody who's won a crochet pattern from me during one of my live streams, if I missed you and you did not receive it, some of your uh, emails went to my spam box. Then I tried to mark them unspam and they disappeared altogether. So if you ever won a pattern from me, please email me again. This time your email is not marked spam. And if you would like to know how you would get a free pattern, it's not a free pattern, it's a gift from me. When you would like, if you would like to help support this channel, you can do that by clicking a little dollar sign in the comment section. That's called a super chat. When you do, the lights will go off and the bubbles will blow. Let me give you an example. There's the light behind me. And my bubbles is kind of being a little sad. Okay, here's the bubbles. That's what happens anytime you donate. And I bring your response to the front and I let you spin the wheel of patterns. All right, guys. Oh, that was a mouthful. So we're going to hop directly into this roundup. Before we do, I want to ask you all a question. These Some of my questions have been recycled. How big is your yarn stash? Before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of your comment so I know to bring it to the front. Just like, I'll bring it to the front just like this. First, the coffee crochet. I like that. All right, guys. So here we go. Do I got my script ready? All right, do do do, and the very first pattern. This is called the circle uh, pot holder. If you ever crocheted a hot, if you ever crocheted a hot pad before, a lot of these will be called hot pads or pot holders. I'm using them vice. What's the word interchangeably? I'm all tongue twisted today. So let me start this over. If you ever crocheted a hot pad before, then you might be wondering how effective are they. Choosing a double thick design like this one will ensure that your hands and surfaces will be protected. The designer of this pattern is cute as a button. A tip for crocheting and the type of things that's going to be touching something hot. I'm sure a lot of you already know it, but use cotton. Do not use acrylic. It will melt, burn your hand. You'll get third degrees. It'll be horrible. But this is beautiful, what I'm looking at. Any, oh, any more pictures? All right, so let's go into the second pattern. Ooh, this one looks fancy puns, but yet a, a, such a simple stitch. This is number two, best modern hot pad. 
you might have a hard time convincing your house guests that your crochet hot pad like these. Mm, my tongue is all twisted. You might have a hard time convincing your house guests that you crochet hot pads like these because they look so modern. The pattern is worked in double strands using slip stitches through the uh, back loop. Oh, that's going to take some time, but luckily it's not a big project. And look how beautiful it is. I love how they added the little leather strap. It does look like something you would buy in like home goods or something. Oh, and how thick. Oh, did I say the designer of this pattern? Is Mama in Stitch. So make sure you check out all these free patterns. Remember, they're going to be linked down in the description box below. So the question that I asked you, how big is your yarn stash? I'll go first. My yarn stash is huge. It's ridiculously huge. Okay, the yarn over here, I've had positioned there for years. It's so bad, like some of the yarns, even shaped like squares, has been sitting there. I don't use the top row. I use the ones down here. I use here. I have a matching because this is my living room. So there's a fireplace behind me, and there's a matching shelf on the other side with yarn, yarn, yarn. I have up in my attic, I think at least one of those two tub bins full of yarn. Ooh, look at that. My arms are shaking. Two tubs full of yarn and down in the basement, I think I have two tubs full of yarn. I have a lot of yarn, but I've been a little bit better. I haven't been buying that much. I went on a shopping yarn spree, I think the beginning of summer. I bought a lot of, oh yeah, in my daughter's room now that she's in college. I got a bag full of yarn and I just had a shopping spree to be in the summer that I've only touched a couple skeins of. Addiction. I, I like it, but uh, I, I don't know what to say. It's my home. I have as much yarn and as many plants as I would like. So cheers to me. <clears throat> Caitlin, she says, used to be large, but now I'm restarting it. Ooh, so you're restarting your addiction? It's almost nice you can start from clean scratch clean slate where you can just decorate and how you want to put your yarn as you want. Hmm. Oh, what was the question? Um, how big is your yarn stash? Gloria. She says, you know, mine is harmo oh, homogenous. Okay. Girl, you're bringing out big words like hippopotamus. Homogenous. You see in my dream craft living room. Yeah. It's some beautiful stuff. The carpet is gorgeous and the yarn is beautiful stuff. Ola Joe says, as big as box stores. Can I come visit? I would like to come visit your house. Is it beautifully decorated? I hope so. Oh, and guys, usually at the very end of my live stream, I let people send pictures of their work and what they're working on to my email, which is linked down below. But if anybody would like to send pictures of their yarn stash or their yarn room, we'll check that out in probably about a half an hour or so. Five bins. That sounds organized, at least. Uh, it's beyond wanting to count. Too big. Okay, you you hookers and knitters know how to buy yarn. Let's see. Oh, wow. From Scotland. What time is it? Mm -hmm. All right. Am I missing anybody? Let me throw it out to the bottom. We have another Gloria, two large, maybe 15 Rubbermaid contain 15. Yeah, I think you got us beat. Well, I don't know about the big box stores. You have myself beat. And I think I have a lot of yarn. I think if I was to put these in containers, I might have one, two, one, two. Ooh, there's another in there. One, two. I might have 10. I might have close to that. Maybe not 15. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, we can't dig in your craft room. It's in a disarray now. Time to reorganize. All right, so we're going to hop directly back into this roundup. So today, like I said, if you're just getting here, we're looking at uh, hot pads or pot holders, whatever you want to call them. And all these patterns are, once again, absolutely free and are going to be linked down in the description box below. And right before we get into these next two patterns, I want to ask you another question. Okay, I kind of know where you store it already, but where do you store your yarn? All right, we know some of you who answered that said they're in like uh, plastic tubs 
where are these plastic tubs located in your house? And do you have any place, this is an extra bonus question. Do you have any place you hide yarn? It's not even like hiding from other people. It can be that also, but just to store it away so people don't see how much yarn you have when they come into your house or come into whatever room you put it in. All right, okay, we're gonna hop directly into this roundup again. And remember, if you would like to help support this channel by donating through Super Chat, you will see a little dollar sign in your comment section. When you do, lights will go off, bubbles will blow, and you get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. So pattern number three is called the Diamond Waffle Hot Pad. I like finding a crochet pattern for hot pads that teaches me a stitch I haven't used before, like this dazzling diamond stitch. This bite-sized projects are a perfect way to spend an afternoon learning a new skill. The designer of this pattern is Crafting Happiness. This is beautiful. And like I said, remember, make sure you're doing all this in cotton. I've never done the diamond stitch before. I know I just read I've never done it before, but uh, my VA, she writes my roundups for me, and she found a winner with this one. This one is absolutely gorgeous. See if you see any other ones. Oh, and it comes with a video tutorial. I love designers. Not all designers have to be on YouTube. It's not necessary. But I do like when a designer puts a video tutorial with a written pattern together. So if you're ever like lost on a stitch and you're reading a pattern and you just don't know what it means, you can always hop on over to the video tutorial to see exactly how it's worked up. So those are always my favorite. All right, our second one is another beauty. This is called Fairy Dust Pot Holder. The best thing about crochet hot pads is that you can make them in any color under the sun. This pattern uses half double crochet stitches and alternates placing them in the front loop only or back loops only for added texture. The designer of this little pattern is This Pixie Creates. That is another cute uh, creator name. I love those. I don't think we've ever did a uh, did this young lady in a roundup before. She is super cute and she's so young. So good job for her for starting her own crochet career. All right, so back to my face. All right, so the question that I asked you, where do you store your crochet or your yarn? Or do you have any hiding spots that you hide from other people or just have to store it behind something? All right, I'll go first. As you can see, I got the yarn here and my hiding place for, I'm not hiding it from anybody, uh, but my hiding where I store stuff away, like the crazy craft stuff right now is in my daughter's room. She's away at college. So when she's gone, her room becomes the junk room. Like when she came home this summer, I didn't know where I was going to put all my stuff. Is I'm like, hmm. I miss her, don't get me wrong, I miss her to itty bitty pieces when she's gone. I do, I love her to death. But I do like that extra junk room space where I can put stuff in, so that was nice. All right, so that's pretty much where I store all my yarn and rubber totes in a basement, in an attic, in a living room, and in my daughter's room. So I store it in every room except the kitchen, dining room, and my son's room. Because I do, mm, I don't have any in my bedroom. Nope, okay. All right, so let's see what you guys had to say. You say, I have yarn and crochet thread in barrels and clear boxes. You Wait, barrels? I've never heard somebody storing stuff in barrels. That means you have a lot. With knitters and crochet hooks to go uh, accompany them. I have future projects in store, mostly clothing, waiting to be made. Now what, they're gonna be made, they're allowed. You're just seasoning them, waiting for the age to yarn perfectly. It's in your barrel, just like wine, you're aging it, it's fine. Hmm. Thank you, oh, wait, I didn't pull it up. Thank you so much, Dee, I appreciate that. Oh, my favorite guy. I keep it in my bedroom and no, don't have to hide them. My mom has her own yarns. She doesn't like lime brand and I do, so she keeps off my yarn. Yeah, so that's nice. I think, ooh, I'm lucky I'm the only yarn lover in this house because I love any yarn. And if I knew my mother had yarn, I'd be all in her stuff. I'm like, you gave birth to me, which I, I need to see what you got in your yarn stash. I can remember being a little girl. 
My grandma had a yarn stash. I used to think it was so humongous. All it was was a big, huge garbage bag that she had behind her lazy boy chair. That's where she kept all her stuff. And she'd keep her crochet hooks in a little part of the chair that kind of came out, like the pocket where you would put your TV guide and remotes or whatever in. And I used to go in her bag and like, oh, look at all this yarn. And I wish you could see my yarn stash today. She would probably whoo, geek out and be like, oh, can I have some? Caitlin says, same room I sleep in. Just sit on my bed and craft. Hmm. Basement and in one room. It's not too bad. Let's see. Anybody else? Erica says, I have two to three shelf Ikea shelves. Uh, cakes on top of it because it looks so cute and two plastic bins. Ooh, that is cute. I love how people can like display their yarn so beautifully. The yarns that I do use, as soon as I start using it, uh, let's see. Can you see? It's dark over there. I use these yarns way more than the yarns over there. And it's like a hot mess. Like they're tangled. They're, they're stuck together. And pieces that I started and like, oh, I'm not going to cut it off. I'm just going to not frog it. I'm just going to jam the piece I started back into yarn and work with it later. I'm bad. Do, do, do. Oh, yarn diet. Yeah. Got to slim down. Got to drop some of them yarn pounds. I store mine on shelves in spare rooms on display. Hmm. Like I said, guys, if you would like to send me your craft room, email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. I want to be nosy and look at your craft room or look at your stash if you're not ashamed to show it. In my living room, about to add more in my dining room. You know what? That's probably relaxing to see. I mean, I love this in my living room. My couch is, can you see me point, right over there. And I have like a hanging swing over there. During the live stream, all this equipment is taken down. It's like an open living room. But I'll sit in my swing and just stare at my yarn or lay across the couch and look at my plants and look at the yarn and just, it, I don't know, just the bright colors and the green. And it just makes me happy. I don't know. Thank you. I love my plants, too. I am flipping obsessed. I bought these. Oh, I'm... Um, should I show you? All right. The, I like to uh, propagate plants also. So I bought these little bubbles that stick to my wall where I can like propagate. If you don't know what that is, that's taking cuttings from a plant and growing from roots and water. They're like on my wall and they are so cute. I love it. And I get to watch the roots grow into the clear. I'm going to show you. I'm not, my house is small, so I'm not going to too far. I'm coming back. Here I am. Okay, it didn't take that long. Ooh. These are what's on my wall. There's a mirror back. They only cost like $2. It's a mirror background and it grows against my wall and all my little pothos cuttings that I took. And this is a cr croton plant, I believe it's called. And all the other ones, they're just, uh, I love them. Okay, how can I store this? still has water in it. All right. I got so far off topic. I have 18 pillows right here, so I can be high enough to be seen on camera. Hmm. Okay. Back to yarn business. Okay. Did I miss anything? I think I got it right. All right. So now we're going to hop back directly into this roundup. My next question for you is, what is the oldest skein of yarn that you have it can be have two options you can have a yarn that you thrifted that you know is probably from like the 70s or it could be a yarn this is what i'm kind of truly asking for you know you bought that yarn personally with your own cash at a yarn shop or store 15 years ago and still haven't used it so what is your oldest skein of yarn Oh, and by the way, if you're noticing my earrings, once again, I'm wearing Parlez-vous crochet. She was on my channel uh, 
two, three weeks ago for earrings. Every live stream, you're going to see me rocking these or a different color, a different pair. I absolutely love her earrings. And even though I crochet, I don't want to make it myself. And she does such a better job than I will ever do. So check her out. Parlay Rue Crochet. It, type that in in YouTube. If you can't find that, go back to my last two live streams. You'll find all her information there. All right. Do, do, do. We did the diamond stitch. We did that one. And I asked you a question. What is your oldest skein of yarn? All right. This is kind of hard to see. Do I got a better picture? Here we go. That's a little better picture. This is called the flower hot pad. This floor hot pad design is almost too pretty to use as a hot pad. The unique shape of the design can also double as a stunning centerpiece. The pattern is worked in around using single and double crochet stitches. The designer of this pattern is Free Craft Unlimited. This is an original looking hot pad. And you know what? That would look beautiful in the center of your table for Thanksgiving, even for Christmas. All you got to do is make sure to buy some Christmas yarn, put it right there, or just any of your scrap yarn that has Christmas colors, put it in the center of the table and make that. That was absolutely gorgeous. Genius. Oh, look at the colors. I'm under, I couldn't find any better pictures from here. Very detailed. Oh, petals loosely folded. And this is tightly folded. Okay, can remember, guys, all these patterns are going to be linked down in the description box below. Our next pattern coming in at number six is called the uh, Marble Pot Holder. I pronounced that right. Or Marble, Marble. All right, this crochet pattern for hot pads starts out as a simple moss stitch square. A bit of clever sewing turns it into a double thick hot pad with pleasing uh, diagonal lines. The designer of this is Pixie Create. This is gorgeous. And what makes it look kind of like a diamond is how it's folded. Let's see if they'll show pictures on exactly how it's folded. That is so cute. Scroll, scroll. There we go. Now you can see the backside like you would a, a pillow or something. If you're making a pillow and how you fold around the back, the same with a hot pad. I really like this. All right, so let's get back to our question. What is your oldest skein of yarn? Uh, the oldest skein of yarn. I would say for myself, I've been in this house since, ooh, I think it's my 10, so 10 years. I think my oldest skein of yarn that I've purchased with my own money, not from a thrift store that was older, is 10 years old. Because when I moved into this house, before I became like the crocheter person that I was, I wasn't even thinking about YouTube. I had my own garbage bag full of yarn. And when I moved, I'm like, I'm getting rid of all my stuff. I'll probably never crochet again. And I got rid of it. Little did I know that crochet fever would fire up in me and be worse than ever before, you know. So I got way more than just a garbage bag. We already talked about that. So I would say 10 oldest, probably thrifted yarn. I'm guessing maybe from 70s, early 80s, I found. You can always tell by the wrapper or the pattern that comes, you know, it just looks older. All right. So, ooh. I see reclected goods in here. Let's see. We know she got something old. Let's see. Oldest fiber, probably crochet ribbon from the 60s. I'm slowly building vintage fiber collection. Ooh, how many uh, vintage fibers do you have so, you, uh, so far? Say that three times fast. Vintage fiber, vintage fiber, vintage fiber. I can say it, okay. Oh, that little planter for $2? Yes, I use these just to propagate. Like I said, I have like pothos over there. I got some other type of weird plants and I'm trying to uh, grow this. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Your oldest skein of yarn. That's the question that I'm asking you. Scroll, scroll, scroll. All right. 
first the coffee crochet. I still have some red heart super saver from 2006 that I use to just do single crochet mindlessly to relax after working in a call center. Oh, I remember working in the call center. Bless your heart, 2006. Lori says her oldest skein of yarn, skein, skein. How do you guys say it? Skein or skein? I guess you'll have to type it. Can you type it phonetically how you say it? Lori says five years old. It's a mohair mix I bought locally and haven't used it. That's not so bad. Five years? That's good. You win. Jody says hand me downs from my seven hold on is it 70 year old is it 70 year old yarn or your 70 year old auntie your 70 year old auntie it's not might not be that old but if the yarn itself is 70 years old there we go am i forgetting anybody i don't want to miss anybody's reply And Neri, I hope I said your name correctly. I have a Dusty Rose cotton yarn, which I had purchased back in 2000, like in 2007. I need to buy other colors to complete this project. I'm afraid that color no longer is made by Lion Brand. Yeah, it might not be. Sometimes they have like, forget which yarn I loved. It was the most soft, beautiful yarn. I even made like a crochet slipper pattern with it years ago. And they stopped making a yarn. I was like, no. Oh, so how do you say crochet, not crochet, yarn, skein or skein? I'm a skeiner. A skeiner. Hmm. Ooh, Reclected Good says, I'm sure I have threads from the 40s. Now that I think about it, I really need to catalog vintage stuff. You should. It's like your whole aesthetic. Hello, Yvette. Erica says, I have three or four cashmere ones that I bought at Smiley's about 15 years ago. Nothing has made me want to use it. You know what? I get you. Sometimes just looking at it makes you want it before you ever have an idea what you want to do with it. Or you have you ever had yarn that was just so beautiful it becomes just an art piece like i do i have some yarn i love so much that i just displayed i used to i might have used it there's some where i just like i need to display it just as a piece of art i can't use it hello do 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 uh we got a skeiner not nah. okay i am team skeiner I, team skein and you are team skein. Oh, that's hard to say. <laughs> I think I get everybody's reply. And also guys, if you would like to help support this channel via Super Chat, you can always do that by clicking the little dollar sign in the comment section. And when you do, bubbles and lights will go off. Okay, we have another uh, skein, like mean. So I'm, I say the same thing. We got a skein like pain. I think so far it's been even split. Oh, hold on, I'll read this next. First, uh, the coffee crochet. I have one from uh, LYS in uh, Charlotte that I bought. It was almost $30 and I can't bring myself to use it. Oh, yes, I had bought some yarn in uh, New Orleans, when I went down there, I went to this beautiful little yarn shop and I think I bought some like $50 yarn, two $50 yarns, because you know, I might need to make something with it. But actually, I just bought two relic pieces. I say skein. By the way, you did pronounce my name correctly. Ah, I did. And thank you, Aneri, for letting me know because I can butcher, I mean, butcher a good, beautiful name like yours. And I'm glad I didn't. All right, so we are going to hop back into this roundup. And the next question. Hmm. Oh, kind of uh, what we are just talking about. What is the most that you have spent on yarn? It can be what you spent in a yarn haul where you just went crazy and got like 80 bags of yarn. How much did you spend? Or 
or or and how much did you spend on one skein of yarn? Let me know. I promise I won't tell anybody. Just it's between me and you. Shh, we'll whisper it. All right. So let's hop back into this roundup and see these next patterns. Hmm. This is number seven. We're coming down to the last couple patterns. Chicken pot holder. One other neat thing about crochet hot pads is all the novelty designs out there. This chicken hot pad would look right at home in a farmhouse kitchen. The designer of this cute little pattern is, let me scroll, Posh Poosh Design. What a cute name. Actually, what a cute pattern. That is cute. What yarn is that? I've never seen cotton. Well, I have seen cotton yarn that's, you know, variegated, but I like this. Oop, I just burnt live on, on my live stream. Excuse me. Must be the wine. Let's see. Materials worsted weight. What does she use? I don't know. Or cotton. It, it all should be cotton if it's a hot pad. All right. So we'll go to the very next pattern. Mm, how cute is digital puppies? This is called the Corgi Pot Holder. Speaking of novelty crochet hot pads, check out this adorable corgi design. This hot pad has a little pocket where you can store some cookie mix and a cute spatula. What a great gift idea. You know what? This is right up there on like a little Christmas gift. You can give, go to the dollar store, get a spatula, get some $2 cookie. Well, cookie mix went up. So $3 and something cookie mix and stick it in your little pouch and give it away as a gift. I like that. I'm guessing it's made in two pieces, front and back. Let's see if we can find some put together uh, images. Let's see, images, images, come on. Did I miss any? Nope. Oh, I don't see any. Still a cute pet. Is that one? Nope. No put together images, but still a super cute pattern. And remember, all these patterns are absolutely free. And I don't think I told you who designed this. Designer of this pattern is Blackstone Designs. All right, back to my face. Hi. All right, so what is the most you ever spent on yarn? I think in a yarn haul where I just needed some yarn therapy, I might have spent over 200 and something dollars. And I think the most I ever spent on yarn was like 50 something a skein. Yeah. This last yarn trip I did the beginning of summer, I spent about a hundred and thirty something dollars on yarn that I didn't need. But you know, I walked in there with like coupons, like spreading them out. Like I got coupons. I got, oh my God, paper coupons. I got phone app coupons. Let's get discounts. So, you know, I walked out of there with bags upon bags of yarn for $135. I lost my mind. Oh, oh, also guys, if, uh, the, before we do our very last two patterns, if you have anything you would like to show me, please email me just like wonderful Jody did. She said, send a pic of my newest project. We're going to be looking at all your beautiful works just in a second after I read these last two patterns on this live stream. Knit and Crochet Tiger. I once more spent more than $350 for ice yarns. I know you got a lot. A third of it was shipping and handling. Yeah. Yeah. Hot trap. It's been a while. Welcome back. $20 for 20 grams of lace weight yarn for special breeds of goat. Comb from kids underbellies. I just looked that up. Okay. Only produced in the uh, village of India. I was just looking at, because I was doing research on like uh, Irish lace and things like that. And I came across this video from the 1960s. The yarn of it, that yarn, the it looks like angel hair. And it's so small and so thin. It's like, I think they called it the most expensive yarn. Or they said the shawl cost so much. And why? Because it was so thin. I wish I didn't watch so much YouTube. I can go to my history and find it. But ugh, I would love to go on a field trip and show you. I think I know what you're talking about. 
I had spent $300 on a yarn haul around my birthday. Deserved. I've spent more than $10. Oh, I have spent... Oh, I have spent two more than $10 skeins max. So you don't buy over $10. This was about six years ago. So you're reformed. But I understand for a yarn haul for your birthday, you deserve it. There we go. Gloria, $300 uh, plus a yarn haul in a store and online. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. I always miss, I know Hobby Lobby does like this ridiculous yarn sale every single year and I always miss it. I was able to hop onto it like five years ago, but it was at the very end of the yarn sale. So there's like slim pickings, but I still bought a lot. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. She oh knit and pearl. Hey, my daughter lived in New Orleans for 10 years and never found the yarn a shop in the French Quarter. That's the one I'm talking about. My daughter didn't even know it was there. I did find on uh find one on uh magazine street. That's the one I went to in the French Quarter. I was at uh it was a crochet conference link or whatever down in New Orleans. It was in the middle of summer. I never realized how hot was hot until I went to New Orleans in the summertime. In the morning time, when I when I went for breakfast, I walked outside. My glasses just steamed up. But fast forward to what I was about to say from my hotel room to where the yarn shop was. You know, I'm like, I can't wait. I think I took a taxi down. But on the way back, I'm like, you know what? It's only a 15 minute walk. I'll walk back to my hotel. I died. It was July in New Orleans and like at one o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know what I was thinking about. Skein like pain. Do -do. Did I already say yours? Yeah, I did that one. Let me scroll down. Let's see what you guys are spinning on yarn. You have the, wow, how are you breathing? I mean, I guess you was born and raised there, but you have a beautiful city. It is hot in the summertime. I will never walk in the afternoon in July in New Orleans ever again. I was going to die. Cheers to you. Hmm. Oh, not the Vicuna wool. Oh, I did a whole video on Vicuna wool, the most expensive yarn. Uh, I think it's like 300 grams of Vicuna wool can cost like up to 300 to $500. There's a 30 grams. I forget what it was, but it was three something, something G. Who knows? Hmm. Then, ooh, could you type what your yarn is, the yarn that you use one more time in the comments? I want to write it down. I would love to do a little video on that. I think it's a good idea. Powerball yarn from Yarn Snob, $145 for a thousand yards. I did have a couple and got $14. I did have a coupon and got $14 off. I mean, you deserve it. Hmm. Powerball yarn from Yarn Snob. I think we need to go on a field trip. What do you think? I want to see this. I wonder if I can Google it. Powerball yarn from Yarn Stop. Let's see. Powerball yarn, yarn snob. Oh, mm, okay. Let's look at these images or actually shopping. I'm a fan of purple. Get out of here. Oh, did you get your little uh, coupon? <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's look at that. What does it feel like? I feel like, ooh, I'm going to touch it. Is it really that fabulous for that much? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me everything about it, please. I just need to know. I've never bought one skein for 
that much. I'm not trying to put you down. I just want to know, is it magnificent? See, this is when you just don't know. Anywhere from 50 to 100, every, to every time I go to the store. How often do you go to the store? Ooh, it is super soft. Mm. I wish I could squeeze it. Hmm. Okay. Am I missing anybody? Oh, one more time. I don't know if you heard me, but Claptrap, could you please tell me one more time what yarn you use? I would love to do a video on that one. All right. Oh, you had a reply. The only thing I love about New Orleans is its food. A meteor could destroy, <laughs> a meteor could destroy it, and I'll only miss the food. Listen, I I was never a fan of grits. Grits aren't my thing. Grits is like a morning meal or whatever you eat with breakfast. I just didn't care for the texture or the taste, but I realized it wasn't grits that I don't like. It was how the people I knew cooked it or how I cooked it also. I went to New Orleans. I asked for some creamy, cheesy grits. That was the most delicious grits. That's all I make now is creamy, creep. Creamy, cheesy grits. It's just very, it feels like home, like you're eating home by the fire, wrapped in a beautiful, cr freshly crocheted blanket by the fire. That's that's what creamy, cheesy grits taste like from New Orleans. Oh. Oh, she's on a cycle almost every two to three months. So wait, so if it's three months and you divide 25 by three, so five for for five dollars a month, you guys can support Jody's uh crochet and yarn habits. It's not that bad. Wait, wait, but you spend 50. I did I do bad math 25 to 50. I did the bad math, but regardless, because that would be only 15. dollars I can't do math. But Sam, everybody help her out. Donate. <laughs> it's not too bad. My mom makes killer grits. She cooks it for an hour and they come out creamy and she puts cheddar cheese in it. You're talking dirty. Most people cook theirs in less than 15 minutes and it tastes like sand. That is why I did not like grits. I refused to eat grits for 41 years of my life until last year. I'm like, how come nobody told me you put some heavy cream and some cheddar in this and make it just marvelous? Oh, that's okay if you don't remember the name of the ghost and a place. I'll have to look it up in my spreadsheet on my computer. You are organized. No, I do have, that's okay. Next time, don't worry. I can probably go back to your other comments, type in what you said in the Google, and I'll probably find it. So don't even worry about it. I appreciate it. Let's see. Oh, for the yarn, I think you're talking about yarn snobs. For that price, they should send me a small sample for you to fill. Thank you. Not saying a full skein, just a small golf ball size. The price should be a good or platinum line. You know what? Bet they would. Some yarn companies are nice like that. Especially if, I'm, I don't know if I can... Just 150, I'm going to touch it. I want a, just a little piece so I can rub it on my face, sniff it, and squeeze it. And then I'll probably be like, yes, here's my money. Hmm. Oh, stop talking about milk, butter, cheese, and you can add herbs, garlic, basil, oregano, rosemary, and thyme. Ah, oh, all worked into the grits. Yes. Mmm. Cheers to your mom. She's the best. All right. So we're going to hop directly back into this roundup. And remember, if you're just coming to this live stream and you'd like to know where these free patterns are, they're going to be linked down in the description box below. So uh, we're on our last two. What we're going to do now, if you have anything you would like to show me after I read these next two patterns, we're going to go into my emails and look at all the beautiful work that you guys have sent me. All right. Let's see. Do, do, do my last two share my screen 
All right, this is called the Huffy, uh, Hexi Puff Trivet. Texture stitches are great for crochet hot pads because they can increase the thickness of your project and keep those pots and pans even more elevated off your surface. You'll soon see what I mean when you try this pretty puff stitch design. The designer of this pattern is TL Yarncraft. This is another great pattern. So you don't have to worry about making like a double thickness. It's a thick yarn. And I think, okay, this is more of a hot pad. I don't know if I would use this to take things out of the oven because there's holes in it. But I'm guessing if you would probably use the same yarn and drop down a hook size. And I think these are puff stitches. Add an extra yarn over. That would be super thick. And you could just probably just use it as a, not just a hot pad, but a mitt. And our very last pattern, this is, scroll, 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 number 10, Mushroom Pot Holder. The difference, is a deep, the difference is in the detail when it comes to a crochet hot pad made with this type of color work. You'll want to proudly display this work of art by hanging it on your kitchen wall where you're, when you're done using it. The designer of this pattern is Rafa Musa Designs. This is artwork. This is beautiful. I love like graph gan type patterns beautiful and this is made on a smaller scale so cute oh she has so much more so excuse me this wine is making me burp <laughs> make sure you click all the links down in the description box below to get all of these free patterns so I did not know that. I'm in Cambodia. It's almost 2 a.m. here. Why are you awake? The temperature is only 87 degrees, but it's so humid, I have to have the fan on to cool myself down. Only 87 degrees? I said it feels like a summer day here, and it's almost 80. And it's 2, almost 3 o'clock. I am in Pennsylvania, so I'm a lot more north than you. I'm not, I'm not used, used to the, I'm not used to the heat. Ooh, TL Yarn Crafts, Tony, wonderful, is one of my favorite designers. She is, she's like crochet goals. Everything she does just looks so perfect and beautiful. And she works so hard to create everything that she does. All right. So let's hop into my email. Let's see if, oh, I do got stuff. All right. Here we go. What did you guys send me over? Juno, I purchased the wall storage unit from Amazon. I also have yarn and clear storage bins. Let, you're so organized, so organized. Oh, I'm being nosy. Look at the little elephant. That is so cute. And you keep your yarn in plastic so you don't look, get little dust bunnies on them. My yarn is so dusty. <laughs> I'm just like blow it off and start crocheting with it i'm good jealous you, you're so organized jody for my niece's boyfriend a hair hair ah, harlequin i can't say that pattern blanket i'm har hair harlequin harlequin i can't say it there we go but it's beautiful I don't think I've ever done this stitch before. The har har, I can't say it. Har. I'm such a lady. Okay, oh, here we go. One more. Caitlin. First dragon pick is what it's supposed to look like. Second pick is mine. I'm doing a red wings, yellow underbelly, and an orange everywhere else. All right, so the first pick is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I need you to stay right there. Somebody stole this pattern from Sheen. Let's see if I can find it. And it's horribly made. Stay right there, guy. All right. The designer, like the pattern that you're wearing right there, this gorgeous pattern. Let me show you something. Whoever designed this, they stole her pictures and put that up for sale and this is what they put up there 
that is not even crochet. It's some type of weird wires. So when you're buying crochet from these fast fashion websites and you see it looks like crochet, it is not. It is not like what she has on. This, it look, it probably looks nice from here, but in my hand it's flimsy and it looks cheap. This looks real like it's gonna break any second now. Ugh. And it's so tiny. It's made for people with, uh, you know, a little less boob. But back to you, yours is beautiful. But your picture reminded me that is so much better than this. That's a gorgeous work. All right, next one. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Let's, oh, and this is knit. Is that, oh, wow, you were working it. I can't wait to see it done. All right, I think we got everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Harley Quinn or Harley as a Joker's girlfriend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're my friend. <laughs> Mary says, I built a whole room outside. 10, 12, my yarn room has its own air and heater. So my yarn will not be harmed. And your yarn will always stay warm and cozy and protected. You love your yarn babies. Oh, definitely. TL Yarn Crafts and Shallow Crochet, to name a few YouTube content creators I follow. Hmm. I. Okay. Is that an I or an L? Linnea? Linnea? I think that's an L. Okay. Ooh, I should make a blanket out of the mushroom holders. That would be so cool. I've seen squirrel pro squirrels process as well as well or together they would all name an amazing blanket i'll send you the photo afterwards oh the little like uh quilts of little crochet squares like the squirrels and all the little animals put together that would be cute smart maybe a hot pad would be a great introduction to color work for me me too hmm all right, guys, did I miss anybody? I did. Wanda, I'm working on your Santa head ornaments. They're so cute and little and quick. From your online video instructions, I love it. I appreciate it. All right, so I think that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I usually try to wrap this up in an hour. Thank you so much for joining me on this live stream today. And make sure you check me out next week at the very same time. And I guess I'll see you guys all later. And cheers to you. Bye, guys. Oops, let me press the button.